Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And this shit is crazy. I remember being a little boy watching that Cook County documentary. And they was talking about Mousy D, Angel Conception, or whatever the fuck. And at the bottom right of the screen, that's him right there. He went from Mousy D to fucking, you know, you know, use the word whatever fits your imagination. But a man is charged with participating in the 2018 shootout that left one dead and three injured. Um, he's been charged with attempt murder or murder four times since 2001, including for a shooting about a half a block from the same gas station that he caught that case in 2018. Now, if y'all remember who Angel Conception is, a.k.a. Local D, just type in that name in YouTube and you will see him in Cook County causing havoc. They even said if they was to move him to another facility, he would lose the power that he had in the county. And allegedly, the reason why he looked like that is because he was turned out in a New Jersey prison. Now, a man with an extensive criminal history has been charged with participating in a shooting that left three people injured in the Avondale gas station. Um, it's the fourth time since 2001 that Angel has been charged with murder or attempted murder. Um, one of the earlier cases involved in a shooting just a few yards from where the 2018 shootout occur occurred. Uh, two groups in 2018 arrived at that Shell gas station. Uh, 3001 was Belmont. They got into a dispute. Um, one man got out of each car. So it wasn't just Angel. It was from each car. So... That should tell you right there, like, he might get, like, self-defense. If he beat all them charges, he might get self-defense or some shit like that because dude participated in it. But um, they got out of each vehicle with guns. Well, one person, they two people stepped out to argue, and then from one person from each car, then another group of people stepped out from each car. Um, but this time, um, each person um, had a vehicle in their hands, and they engaged in the shootout. A 24-year-old woman was left in critical condition. Two men passed away. Um, and another man was killed as well, or left in critical condition. Um, a judge signed in a warrant on a, a warrant for his arrest to get him up, to go find him and lock him up, but he was already in New Jersey, uh, serving an eight-year sentence for unlawful use of, uh, unlawful possession of a weapon by a felon. Um, and so, allegedly, while he was in New York, this is him right here, when I seen him in that Cook County um, documentary and I remember girls was talking about him and shit talking about oh he looked like Chris Brown free him okay baby yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead and yeah I can't even say go ahead play with that man doodle stick he probably got it chopped off shorty he probably walking around like just look at him and that's nothing against nobody I know a lot of people who said in the comment section that he went to New Jersey to get turned out like he went out there and he got raped or whatever but think about this just think about this I promise you whatever feelings he had deep down within him to allow himself to do this he already was feeling that way i promise you there's nothing you could do to make a straight man go gay all it is is for him giving in to that temptation so he was a former leader of the mlds in that area where he from and in 2018 when he caught that case he was with some of them same group of individuals now 2018 wasn't that long ago so my question is was he looking like this then was he slowly transitioning into acting the way he act because honestly honestly you know like he was a savage. He was a real-life killer. He's a real-life savage. So I felt like some of them MLDs just went, going up, just went on and just let him do what he had to do. Get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.